Hey there, welcome to Metabase 48. This release brings a significant upgrade to auditing tools, transforming them into a comprehensive overview of everything that's going on in your Metabase. You'll find a collection of pre-built interactive dashboards, questions, and models, all designed to help you manage compliance, track data usage and user behavior, and optimize performance. First up, let's talk usage analytics. We've added way more data points and made it super configurable so you can learn more from it and be more data-driven about how you use data. Okay, let me just show you what we mean. If we click into the first dashboard here, Metabase Metrics, you can see an overview of your Metabase activity. Filter by date range or user group, say the past 52 weeks for the engineering team. Explore without even needing to ask questions with the action menu. If we jump over here to question views per week, we can click in to see which questions people were looking at, break out by different values, and more. But for now, we'll check out views per day. It's not all dashboards and pre-built questions. You can also use the Query Builder to put together custom analyses just like you would with any other dataset in Metabase. You've got a bunch of models here to act as the building blocks for questions. The activity log keeps track of everything that's gone down in your Metabase. Here we'll take a look at configuration changes over the past month. We'll narrow down the date range to the last week and filter on the topic, settings. This is handy for things like investigating if your single sign-on was turned off, by whom and when, so you can follow up to find out why and take next steps. You can also set up a subscription to get regular updates delivered via email or Slack, or create an alert to get notified if and when anything changes. Metabase Analytics steals the show in this release, but there are lots of exciting smaller upgrades as well. like auto-wiring dashboard filters, so you don't have to painstakingly go through one by one anymore. And check out this simple way to move a card between tabs on a dashboard. Nice, huh? We've also added filters to the search results page to help you get closer to what you're looking for. You can narrow down your searches on things like the content type, creator, when it was created or last edited, whether it's verified, and more. So be sure to check out our blog for an in-depth look at what's new. Or better yet, try it for yourself and let us know what you think. See you next time.